Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. So in the previous video, we have seen what are Java interfaces default method and how do we actually define that particular method. Now we are going to see that programmatically in this video. So with the advent of Java 8, default methods were introduced in Java. So the important question arises with this advent is that why do we really need this? Because this is a real big change is this change actually alters the real soul of interface. If you step behind a bit, then you can find a definition of an interface in Java as a reference type that has only method declarations but no definitions at all. So all the methods have a semicolon at the end. Then why with the help of this uh, default method which were being introduced which has some code into it were introduced as a big change of adding default methods were done in this Java 8 because it does nothing but shakes the real complete soul of an interface. So let's try to find this out in this particular video programmatically. So stick with me till the end. So this is something familiar to you. I'll remove all for you first. So this is an animal interface, right? So now we are trying to figure out why default methods were introduced and what was the real need of it. So here, let me add one particular method definition, uh, declaration for you, but no definition. So public void, I know that animals has legs. So I'll say legs method. So with making just one simple line change at line number seven in one particular interface, my Java started giving me error in these four classes. Now this is a very small project just for demonstration purpose. I have this thing for me, for you. So what will happen when you will get into a code base, which is real big and there is some base interface and you have to implement that base interface in almost many of the classes of that particular project. Then what will happen? All your code will be completely broken. So how do I fix that? So in this doc, what I'm getting is an issue add unimplemented method, but I don't want to do that because it, it will need a real long time if I have hundreds of classes and I go into each of the classes and add that method definition. Declaration is not allowed. Otherwise I have to make that a particular class abstract. So how to solve this issue? This issue was solved with the de method def definition is being provided with giving a default keyword. So now I'm going to do SYSO. So even before I do something, can you see as soon as I add the default keyword, all of the issues in all of the classes gets vanished. So this is the magic of default keyword in Angular with Java 8. What happened is just by adding a one particular keyword, all your classes which were broken are now good to go. And I say that animal have animals have four legs great so this is how my compiler is good to go and dog says without implementing the unimplemented method when i try dog dot particular method that is legs then they it says that animal has four legs but now the question i raise is that if fish has also implemented the basic one but i don't want the fish to have the basic a method of get, getting the legs because they does not have legs. So what I will do is this is the beauty of uh, default methods. What you can do is you can implement your own method also without using this particular default implementation. So I can do it is public void legs and fish has no legs. So only those classes who wants to change the definition of default method can override that method keeping all the rest of the classes untouched and all the rest of the classes will have four legs including dog including labrador including frog everybody so this is the beauty of default keyword which was introduced with java 8 advent of java 8 and it protected us many of us from breaking a big huge code base when when you just make one simple change in an interface so if you still have issues with this particular simple concept please let me know in the comment section thank you